School teacher calls student the N word. School outraged, at least the students are. He does not get fired. I have the background. Here it is. What you looking at? Why? I'm sorry. Oh my God. What you looking at? Why? I'm sorry. Oh my God. What you looking at? Why? I'm sorry. Oh my God. What you looking at? Why? I'm sorry. Oh my God. That teacher is that child's guide, trusted adult figure, authority inside of the institution, talking in the spirit of a slave master, an employee at the Hempstead High School in Iowa has been placed on leave after calling a black student the N word. He has not been fired as of yet. The video of the incident surfaced online, showing the white male who works at the school staring at a student walking from a classroom. When out of the blue, the man yells, what you looking at, in word, towards the black student. The racial slur immediately caught everyone standing in the hallway off guard, including the student who was filming. The employee tries to quickly apologize to the black student, but the damage obviously has already been done. Let's put up, we see the screenshot. Now, here's an interesting dynamic. The student, the child, he's not concerned about the teacher. He's minding his business, not even looking in the direction of the instructor. The instructor is the one obviously has a problem. With the student. The school employee has not been identified, but has been placed on leave while an investigation is pending. He has also not been fired, but school officials say he will be disciplined. Julia Jurgensen, who is the assistant principal, released a statement of families of children who attend the school, condemning the teacher's actions and confirming that disciplinary actions are on the way. Let me say this. It is interesting that we do believe teachers should absolutely be held to a higher standard of accountability than let's say students, right? The teacher is the professional. But if the student would have said this to the educator, the student would have been dismissed immediately. There would not be need for an additional investigation. All of the context happened in the moment of the recording. There is no justification, there is no excuse, there is no reason why they can justify doing action like this. But when it comes to teachers in particular, we see many school systems where powers that be will protect them, at least temporarily, if not forever. We've also seen amazing teachers who have decided to become whistleblowers and be adversely impacted by the system they are governed by. Teachers are amazing people. My mother, a woman who adopted me, is a school teacher. She changed my life. But teachers like this guy, well, in my opinion, they make the profession look bad. And naturally, it should have been swift action. I want to be clear, the assistant principal says, I want to be clear in saying that the actions shown in this video are not acceptable and do not represent the values of Hempstead High School or the community school district. That staff member involved was immediately placed on leave while the district completes an investigation, which as always will be followed by appropriate disciplinary action. We strive every day to ensure that each of our students learns in a safe, inclusive learning environment. And today, for many, Hempstead did not live up to that expectation. I have talked personally with many students and parents today as have members of our administrative team and staff across the building. To reinforce that we are here to support students today and moving forward. I have been nothing short of impressed by the maturity, honesty and emotion in those conversations. One of our Mustang values is to be inclusive and we will continue to strive to do better each day.
Robert Kimball is the founder of the Dream Center, told KCRG he was pleased with the school's decision to place the employee on leave and wanted to reassure students that they are cared about. Number one, don't forget that there are people who care about you in this community. But number two, use this as an opportunity to educate, he continued. Our school district is a great school district. It's just important that if there are still people out there who think this way and act this way, that we hold them accountable, said Kimball. I agree with Kimball. I also agree with the words of the principal. What I don't agree with is the action not being swift. It needs to be swift. Every time something like this happens, you have all of the context you need in that one video, make it swift. That action shows more about how you care for your students than the press release. You see, a lot of times institutions will spend days trying to come up with a narrative, figure out the right word and measure the moment. It could have taken you minutes to say you're fired, you're fired. There's a reality connected to this educator that we may never know. If the educator is willing to call a student the N word and then act as if, oh, my bad, slipped out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you not think that bias has permeated in other areas of his discipline? Do you not think he has engaged in either aggressive or unconscious bias? Of course, it's unavoidable, especially when your racism is so deep that you cannot contain yourself around black children at your job. All right, thoughts? Yeah, I've got a couple of thoughts. First and foremost, this is gonna be a little bit of speculation, but like my guess is this probably wasn't the first time this happened. Right. Because if you're a student, you don't just randomly film teachers in a hallway. There might have possibly been a reason why that, that student was filming that particular teacher in that particular moment. That's just me speculating to be fair, but the thing is, if somebody says this once, they've thought it a thousand times. And it most definitely has influenced his teaching at that school. There's no way that it possibly hasn't. As for the question of like, oh, investigating, what is there to investigate? Put together the investigating committee, show everybody the three second video, and then case closed. I mean, quite literally, there is no detail, there's no context, there's no additional information that could possibly be found that would exonerate the teacher in this situation. Like zero, zero possible things in that regard. And that really speaks to, I think, a combination of both the mindset of like, everything needs to be this formalized procedure. We have to always have like, you know, these, these protocols in place when sometimes things are just cut and dry and you can just fire somebody on the spot and then dare them to say that they were fired for the wrong reason when that video literally exists. And with that, I guess I'll kind of touch on something with it in the statement, which is just, I think the notion of inclusivity. And honestly, like that statement kind of made me like sour on the term inclusivity. And I think we should shift our focus away from inclusiveness and more towards empowering, right? Because do these students feel empowered by this decision? Mm. Are you actively making people feel as though they have a real say in their own safety and comfort in their learning environment? Because it's one thing for people to be included, but it's a completely different situation for people to be empowered. And I think fundamentally not firing that teacher right away is I think a perfect example of things that are very much not <laughs> empowering to the people who should be. Very well said. It is easier to get rid of a good book than a bad teacher.